Hey, what's up, guys? Kaycock here. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do some quests. Uh, it's uh, still gonna be an Atlas Plateau video, I think. But uh, we're gonna start here at Waypoint Rune Cellar with Sorcerer Selen. Since we talked to Azur, you'll be able to say, show Azur's sorcery. Make us proud. Tell me your story. Let's journey together. Lusat. Okay, so we get the Spellbreaker key. So you can ask for the lead on Lusat. It doesn't really matter because I know where to go. So, after you talk to her, you exhaust your dialogue. We're gonna go all the way up here. Remember, um, where Millicent was at the Church of Plague? We're gonna go there now. So I guess we'll work on this for the video. Sorry about the sound again. Father-in-law passed out watching a movie now. So, uh... Fun times, cool times. Don't live with your mother in law or father in law, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, might as well get all the fucking goodies since we're here. That's where Millicent was earlier in earlier videos. So we're gonna head north. You could go down there and try and farm um, for their little headpiece, which is actually cool looking, disgusting, awesome. It's cool. I like it. <clears throat> but we want to come up here. There's gonna be one of the... Oh, he saw us. Fuck. Oh well. Get a decent amount of damage. And it's gonna be another battle mage. Okay. Yep, you're one of those. Okay. Grab the beast blood, and right directly behind it, as you can see by the multiple messages, there's gonna be a secret dungeon. The Celia Hideaway. So. Well, let's get our lantern out here so you guys can see what's actually happening. We're gonna rest. Uh, we didn't take too much of a hit, but fuck it. Why not? Whatever. Five seconds, ten seconds of your time. Now, there's an easy way to do this dungeon, and there's a hard way, or a longer way, if you will. I feel like PvPing again, so we're going to pop one of those and the Tauntor's Tongue. Lure in the invaders. Alright. So, this sword wrecks. Like, you don't have to do the full combo. It just fucking wrecks. But in Cave Moss, Crystal Cave Moss in here. Keep running. Get the stuff, and at this little door here, where the crystals are kind of dead. We're gonna have a secret door. <clears throat> Again. Secret door. There's actually a lot of secret doors here. Oh, no, it's the, it's the different one. Anyways, the easy way to get here... It's gonna be kinda difficult. I I suggest you do this first before you continue with the whole ordeal. So jump down, jump across, kill this guy before he fucking fucks our day up over and over and over again. Um part of me wants to jump down now. But you're gonna kinda see a door. It's it's pretty it's pretty cool in that way, where you can actually see 
the magic door before you jump down. So I don't think it's that one. But again, I forget. Let's just kill everything, just so if we do get invaded or whatnot, we're not getting shit on by this fucking invader with all this crystal magic bullshit. Okay, I think... I... Th okay, let's go around before I think. Let's do... Explosion! Fuck you, guy. I didn't die. Oh my god. Alright. And I just learned... These warming stones. I've never used them ever. Use FP to continuously heal nearby allies. It'll also heal yourself. So that is fucking cool. So let's jump across. And... I know we have to jump down. I know we do. But, uh... Okay, this is probably gonna... Oh, God, I can't fucking help it. Mm, yeah, it's going to the boss. Okay. So we know where the boss is now. We have a Shrine of America, at least, to help us on our quest. Now, around here somewhere, we should be able to see kind of a door. See something here. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's that little blue door I was talking about. So, once you find that, you're good to go. You can kind of drop. Let's kill the, uh, assholes. Oh, motherfucker. And we can use that key we just got from Selen to unlock the door. So, we used the key. So we can come back in here, and we can talk to him, and just like a Xur, he's gonna give us a... A... Stars of Ruin, another legendary sorcery. So, he's kinda dying. Obviously, he's not doing too well. We will be back here for his gear set later. But now we gotta find a way out of here. So, run all the way back. Hmm. Hmm. What is? Well, I don't. I don't remember this. I guess it just goes all the way back up. Yep. Okay. Hey, somber smithing stone four. Cool. Awesome. That's cool. Okay, and now we're back up here. Alright, so... As we did before, we need to go around the people we killed, jump across the ledge to get to the boss. We might as well kill the boss, why not? Fuck it. I know there's things I missed in here, but um... I th I'm pretty sure we got what we wanted. We got the Stars of Ruin. And okay, this is the cave I'm thinking of. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, right. So first thing to do is um, I don't think. Okay. First thing to do is go over where this note is. It's very important. Very, very important. You're gonna get the rot blossoms and an invisible door. And we're gonna get the crystal spear. Fan fucking tastic. Now we come up. There is I don't believe it. You no know something ahead. Right. Um there's more. I know there's more. What am I missing? There's another secret door. Is that it? Hmm. Hmm. It's not this, and it's not that. I think it is this. No, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. There's also enemies in here too, so keep that in mind. There's one. 
crystal darts. That'll come handy later. Okay, there's another there's another door around here. So don't go to the boss fight just yet. There's gonna be more enemies too. Man, no, I did fuck it up. I fucked it up. Oh look at that. Alright, there it is. I think we need to switch our weapon out for you. Oh, it didn't even switch. Ah, look at that damage. Yeah, come at me, bro. You can heal. Yeah, come at me, bro. Look at that damage. Bye bye. Hey. Twas fun. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, what happened there was you need to dodge the spells. That's just how it goes. But um, when it comes to trading blows, I realized that his damage with his weapon was gonna stagger me too much, right? So I couldn't just. I couldn't take a hit and deal a hit. So, we have a, a, a ruin capable. It's, it, we, we have the advantage when we're being invaded, right? Because we have the plus five to all stats and uh, we have more flasks and whatnot. So pretty much it's an endurance battle. We're getting fucked up by his attack because his poison attacks are, are a lot more than we can handle. So, I had to back off, I had to trade weapons. The death poker was doing fucking fantastic, honestly. We could have beat him with that, but, um, with this one. But, um, you know, it's, it's, the flame strike, you, if you get the first hit, you're going to get the second hit. So it's two hits in one. Um, also, it's going to add damage to your, uh, it's going to add damage to your, um, attack after you keep hitting. So pretty much, essentially, um, I like the flame strike better for p PvP, and um, it's easier to land rather than the Death Poker's PVE move set. So is this it? Did I go the wrong way? No, I did. Okay, there's the Shrine of America. Okay, this is going back to where we started. So we're m we're missing this uh, this thingy. I just love PvP so much. I love it so much. It's so fun. I'm missing something. And I know it's around here. I know it's here. I know it's here. I'm missing it. And I thought it was there. There's there's a there's a wall, there's a there's a something we're missing. Okay, so it's gotta be, it doesn't have to be, but I'm pretty sure it's the same way. It's not over there, it's gonna be the other way. That was the crystal spear, so we come over. It's not there, right? Oh, maybe it's that one. Oh, maybe it's that one, okay, okay. That's, that's doable. But it's for sure across this wall. It can't be anywhere else. So. <clears throat> right. So. Let's see what this has to say. Liar. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So one of these. We're going to be able to get up there from there. Maybe. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So way the fuck up here, right? And actually, I think it's that one. I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Okay. So all the fucking way back up there. 
we can actually drop down and there's gonna be a group of enemies here they're not really quite sure you're here yet but we're gonna do our little attack and that one has a great sword or whatever carrying the great sword whatever the fuck that is anyways we off them and we're gonna get the crystalline ashes this thing is fucking awesome this this uh, summon is like one of the most tankiest uh, summons in the game so it's awesome I assure you we can uh, we can use them just like I said we'll use the rats we'll use the rats okay anyways uh, this should be the same tunnel as the boss tunnel yep we pretty much just skipped uh, going the other way. You don't have to kill these guys, I'm just killing them. Just to like, have an ease of process. Anyways, um... <clears throat> Let's see, no. We have how much FP? Will it say? Uh, one hundred and one out of a hundred and twenty-six. Okay, and this summon costs a hundred, right? A hundred. All right, we have enough FP. Whoops! 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 Let's use a boiled prompt, and then we're gonna use Spanish Knight Evil. One last. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot. This boss fight's actually pretty tough because, um. You need to break their armor. And I forgot, I did the whole, um. I did the whole, uh. Let's. Let's get people to fucking attack us. Bullshit. We'll let them fucking suffer for a little bit, but you really need to focus on one. And then just bust that motherfucker down. It should be pretty easy with this, uh, this great sword. Carla rotted me. Let's get our uh, Crimson Tears ready here. Once you break their armor, they're fucking easy as shit. But you need to be able to break their armor. You might even want to do an explosion. Obviously, it's going to knock them off their feet. And there we go. So once they get poised broken, their armor their armor is broken. So we'll wait for him to get up. Use our fucking ghost flame ignition. That's that's a done day. That's a done day. But we'll get the crystal torrent. Great fucking uh, PVE and PVE PVP and PVE weapon to get. So that's it. That's the Celia whatever the whatever this tunnel was. Now we can go back and give um, Selen. We can talk about uh, uh, um, God, what's the, what's the sorcerer's name? Uh, LSATs? L I don't want to say LSATs. That's the fucking lawyer exam. Um, Lusats. 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 Whatever. We're going to we got a sorcery. We're gonna talk about the key. We got two legendary sorceries just doing her quest alone. It's a it's a <clears throat> a trophy to earn in this game, so it's kind of worth doing. And you're not gonna be able to get the stars of rune without his shit. So we're gonna get out of this cave now.
and we're gonna go to the waypoint ruin cellar sorcerer selling again This quest is uh, <clears throat> easy and difficult depending on if you know or don't know. I think it's a lot easier um, <clears throat> than Millicent's, in my opinion. It is long, Very but well, my Lusat's location. You have my... I am... This is... So she gives us a starlight chart anyways. So after you do the um, Lusat's quest rest, we might as well um, level up. Level 71 now. Vigor, vigor, vigor. There you are. Shall we commence the Talk to her again. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Um, fuck, I forget. There's, there might be a thing. We might have to leave and come back. So let's leave and go to. Um, we're gonna go to Celavis's Rise because now we got two uh, Starlight shards, and we're gonna be able to talk to him again. So. <clears throat> Right, so if you just run out on the balcony, you can just jump over. It's pretty easy. You can probably even kill that uh, dragon now, honestly. Kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it, because he'll be gone forever after we do this. Summon our dude. Drink our flask. We'll use a boiled prawn. Run and jump. Yeah, look at that damage. It's a lot of damage. We could even almost kill him almost. We'll do it on that leg and this leg. Yeah, look at that. He fucking said. Oh, he didn't say peace out. I thought he was gonna say peace out. Christ. This guy's a fucking animal. Come here, you blintstone dragon fuck. Keep popping that fucking shit. I'm telling you. Okay, there he is. So you get him below half. He's like, fuck this, I'm fucking out. <clears throat> Anyways, he's dealt with. Good, good. Fuck him. Fucking hate that guy. Just always in my way, I'm telling you. So, once we go to Sullivan's Rise, I know we got the wolf thingy. Right? Talk to him again. God, we didn't do all of his sorcerers yet either. Can we even make it? No, there's no fucking way. Can it, at least get Ice Crag. That one's a good one for um. Holy shit! All right, we can at least get one of these. I say Ice Crag's the best. It's low intellect and it does frost damage, which works with our setup right now. 
Holy shit, okay. All right, well, we need to do more about that in the future. Um, you're, we're gonna need to buy all of his spells too. I, I did not come prepared, apparently. That's okay. We'll go back to Selen and see if we can get her quest going too, so. It's, uh, there's a lot to do, man. At least, uh, I've never actually finished, uh, Hayata's quest. And I know what to do, I just, uh, never done it. So, at least her quest is done. These other ones I've done a bunch of times now. These are easy. There you are. Shall we come in? Man, she still doesn't want to talk to us about it. Okay. Alright, eventually, we're gonna come back to her and she's gonna give us the key to her cell. She's gonna give us our soul, essentially. And actually, now that I think about it, um, let's go back to Ronnie's Rise. We might actually have to find her body to talk to her again. Seems weird, I know, but um, like the sorcerers like to deal with dolls, and she's gonna have like a a, um, a doll. Essentially, her body right now is a doll. Her real body is held captive. And that's the body we want to deal with, so. Jump off the balcony again. And that first, uh, the first ruins next to Ronnie's Rise, right? It should be this one. It's, uh, it's invisible. If you didn't get it before, then do it now. But, this wall will also be invisible. That was Selavis's puppet, and this is, um, this is, uh, what's her name's puppet. We're not interacting with it, so we're gonna have to get her to talk. Clearly. Yeah, there's a bunch of weird puppets in here. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna farm at this the farming spot I was telling you about. Palace Approach Ledge Road in uh, <coughs> Mogwin's Dynasty Mausoleum, right? His his fucking Mogwin's Palace area. I'm gonna farm here for a little bit to get enough uh, runes to buy all of uh, Selvis's spells. And then getting the root, the starlight shards should be enough. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. This was uh, Selavis's quest and uh, mostly Selen's quest. So, I'll see you guys again. Peace out.